So today topic is domain control. Domain controllers. And uh, here, first I'll tell you the types of domain controller. Types of DC are right. DC means domain controller. So first is a root DC. Second one is a ADC. ROC and CDC. So there are four types of domain controller. These four types of domain controller we use in our organization. So how it works actually? First, when you install Active Directory in your forest, suppose you are you are parts of big organization which have many branches. So first branch in first server, if you are installing Active Directory domain controller, so that will become a, a root DC, root domain controller. Like I have uh, different branches, right? So first DC, first computer in your forest timing will called root domain controller, root DC. Here, this is our server. I am talking about one organization. Uh, this is our organization, suppose. And we have different branches. One branch I can make here. So here, first server, when we configure in our, this domain environment in our company. The company name is, suppose, hp.com. So hp is a domain. And in hp organization, it can be different branches. Different branches we have. So first, branch first server when we configure we install active directory domain services it will become a root dc so what can be done here just you install the active directory dns and then this is our network here and we have connected these our client pc to domain and we can log in here we can use whatever application restriction everything we can do according to the domain controller permission like here we can create the user and the user can log in here Right, we can control the user from this uh, root DC, from this domain controller. So this is root DC. Now I am talking about additional domain controller. Suppose we have uh, a number of users working this organization and something happened in this DC. Something happened. It got down or some disaster or anything happened. In that case, what will happen? Those entire uh, client PC will stop. So the employees and users will stop getting services from domain controller. So to avoid these kinds of uh, these kinds of activity and these kinds of problem, what we can do? We can have a backup domain controller. So parallelly we can configure a backup domain controller. So what can be done by backup domain controller? Here I'll take one more server. And I will configure as the root domain controller like this, same like here. And I will give the name of this domain controller is the additional domain controller. And additional domain controller is a backup domain controller for your root DC. So after configuring this additional domain controller, what is going to happen, you know, whatever user you create in this database, this root DC, automatic will be replicated in additional domain controller. Whatever user, group, computer, whatever you do here, that will be replicated, automatically will be replicated to here. And if you create something here, that will be replicated to root DC. Both side replication will happen. In case of failure of root DC, the entire users are available in additional domain controller. So your user and client will not impact, will not reflect with this failure. So this additional domain controller we can say is a backup purpose we are using. In case of failure any, one will be providing the services. So each and every organization they have additional domain controller in case of number of users. If you have uh, just 50 users or 100 users, so not required in that case. But if you have number of users like 1000 users, 2000 users in your organization then definitely we should uh, configure one additional domain controller for backup purpose. So whenever something problem here, no problem, your services will be continued by additional domain controller. So this is another domain controller for our domain environment. Now let me talk about a root, a read only domain controller, RODC in the sense a read only domain controller. So RODC, I will put here RODC and if you talk about RODC is just similar to ADC, it's same like ADC, whatever user you create is ODC that will be replicated here, like here. 
same user you create it will be replicated here you create user it will be replicated here means you can say rodc is the same like adc is the same like adc then why we create rodc rodc what is the difference between what is the difference between um, this adc and rodc so in rodc why we rodc create actually if you have a branch office if you have one branch and a small branch you have and uh, you don't have a big environment like uh, uh, system administrator desktop support engineer so there no expert person who can manage the server so in that case what if you in case of if you are giving additional domain controller then what happen anybody can change here if you delete user here if you create user that will replicate if you delete user then also will be replicated so any uh, unknown person can delete can uninstall can do some unusable stuff then what will happen that will be replicated and that will be affected directly to the root to dc that means your organization can be impact your work can be impact right so therefore instead of in our branch office we are putting instead of putting adc additional domain controller we configure read only domain controller in read only domain controller this is microsoft server feature which uh, allow administrator to configure read only domain controller but after configuration in read only domain controller it will allow to add a user rodc user and the rodc user can log in in this server administrator password will not share by this root dc administrator to branch office so whoever will be in this branch office they cannot log in administrator user here they can log in one user trusted user and the user has given by permission has given by root domain controller administrator question is what is the use of this so user can log in and whatever machine working whatever clients working here uh, that can be create user can be create the machine can be joined here but when can be this, this administrator has give to permission to this uh, particular user means administrator has to delegate the permission to a specific user which user we have added in rodc during the configuration when we configure rodc server it will ask before configuring actually before configuring this rodc in branch office you have to configure first root dc here we have to configure pre create read only domain controller in that time it will ask which user you want to give permission to log in over there so just we give one user like one user satosh Santosh, I am giving login permission to RODC. So only Santosh can login in RODC. Other user cannot login. Even administrator cannot login because this administrator do not share the password. So this is very useful actually RODC server. RODC uh, means that will be machine will be there, but nobody can do anything in that. It will be read only. You can see the name read only. You can see everything, but you cannot do anything. And if you want to do any stuff, so you have to ask the permission. the administrator will delegate the permission then only you can do anything like which permission is delegated so this is rodc so now one remaining is cdc child domain controller and child domain controller we deploy for franchise not branch office so do you know what is the difference between branch and franchise so this is the branch office for branch office means the same organization same owner but franchise means different owner part will be this domain hp but owner will be different here so here we'll put the child domain controller and in this case what will happen domain will be the same but dns will be the child domain controller will have separate dns server this is your database and uh, suppose you are using dns in this server you are using dns is uh, 10.0.0.1 DNS is the 10.0.0.1, and here additional domain controller what will be 10.0.0.2, and DNS what can be 10.0.0.1. Same like here, if you talk 10.0.0.3, and DNS will be the same. <coughs> But in this case, what will happen? 10.0.0.0. Suppose I am giving here 50 for this child domain controller, and uh, this. Preferred DNS will be the same, and alternate DNS you can give here. One. Alternate DNS why we are giving because uh, 
these server also is a parts of hp.com is same domain so this starter dns will understand these are parts of domain but this uh, child domain controller will have separate dns server separate database so here is not going to replicate if you create any user in adc or rodc or um, root dc the user is not going to replicate here replication will not happen automatically but trusted user can log in if you yeah. if you have made the trust between that user and yeah. hmm. so uh you have any doubt please let me know root dc adc rodc and cdc then we'll go ahead okay sir please explain two time hindi okay 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 once you walk uh see char types ke hamare domain controller hain main zero nahi hai instrument view two types ke hamare domain controller hain kaun kaun root dc dc rodc cdc one minute root dc adc rodc and cdc so ये हमारे ऑर्गेनाइजेशन में ये चार तरह के डोमेन कंट्रोलर होते हैं कहीं पे भी किसी भी ऑर्गेनाइजेशन में और जब हम पहला अपना सर्वर कॉन्फिगर करते हैं फर्स्ट सर्वर अपने ऑर्गेनाइजेशन में तो वो क्या होता है रूट डीसी होता है उसको हम रूट डोमेन कंट्रोलर बोलते हैं ठीक है जैसे कल हम लोग क्रिएट किए थे जो इंस्टॉल किए थे वो रूट डी था क्योंकि हमने एक टेस्ट डॉट कॉम बनाया था वो टेस्ट डॉट कॉम का पहला सर्वर था तो रूट डी था रूट डी क्या होता है फर्स्ट सर्वर हमारे ऑर्गेनाइजेशन का जो हम जिसमें मैट्रिक डायरेक्ट इंस्टॉल करते हैं उसको हम क्या बोलते हैं रूट डीसी ये रूट डीसी है इसके बाद यहाँ पे अगर हम आईपी की बात करें सपोज हमें एक आईपी दिया है वो आईपी है टेन डॉट जीरो डॉट जीरो डॉट वन डी एन एस विल बी दिन टेन डॉट जीरो डॉट जीरो डॉट वन और अब हमें एक एडिशनल डोमेन कंट्रोलर चाहिए क्यों एडिशनल डोमेन कंट्रोलर चाहिए यहाँ पे हमने एक यहाँ पे हमने एक एडिशनल डोमेन ये रूट डीसी हो गया ये एडीसी हो गया इसका आईपी हमने दे दिया 10.0.0.2 एंड डीएनएस विल बी 10.0.0.1 इसको हम बोलते हैं रूट डीसी और इसको हम बोलते हैं एडीसी एडिशनल डोमेन कंट्रोलर इस इसमें क्या होगा इस केस में क्या है यहां पे जो भी यूजर है यहां पे एक डेटाबेस क्रिएट होता है इनका भी एक अपना डेटाबेस है राइट एंटीडीएस क्या होता है जब हम एक्टिवेट इंस्टॉल करते हैं डेटाबेस क्रिएट होता है ना जहां पे यूजर ग्रुप सभी स्टोर होता है तो डेटाबेस होता है यहाँ पे जो भी यूजर ग्रुप कंप्यूटर जो भी हम काम करेंगे वो रेप्लीकेट होगा यहाँ पे ऑटोमेटिक तो क्यों रखते हैं बैकअप के लिए अगर मान लीजिए कोई फेलियर हो गया कुछ ये सर्वर डाउन हो गया प्रॉब्लम आ गया हार्डवेयर या सॉफ्टवेयर कोई प्रॉब्लम आया तो नो प्रॉब्लम ये सारे यूजर जो बने हुए हैं सभी यूजर यहाँ पे ऑलरेडी है क्योंकि जब भी हम यूजर बनाते हैं वो ऑटोमेटिक रेप्लीकेट हो जाता है यहाँ आ जाता है यहाँ अगर कोई यूजर बनाएंगे वो यहाँ आ जाएगा तो इससे क्या होता है इसीलिए इसको हम बैकअप डोमिन बोलते हैं बैकअप डोमिन कंट्रोल की अगर एक सर्वर फेल हुआ एक सर्वर अगर फेल हो गया तो नो प्रॉब्लम हमारा दूसरा काम कर रहा होगा ठीक है और इसके बाद हम बात करते हैं एक आरओडी एक होता है आरओडी सी आरओडी सी हम ब्रांच ऑफिस के लिए रखते हैं आप बताओ ब्रांच ऑफिस और फ्रेंचाइजी में अंतर क्या होता है ब्रांच और फ्रेंचाइजी में अंतर मालूम है ब्रांच ऑफिस और फ्रेंचाइजी में सेम लोकेशन नहीं ब्रांच मीन ब्रांच मीन सेम ऑनरशिप एक ही ऑनर का रहेगा अलग अलग जगह पे हो सकता है बट फ्रेंचाइजी मतलब वो ऑनर दूसरा रहेगा इनसे इनका कोई ट्रांजेक्शन से कोई मतलब नहीं रहेगा जो भी फ्रेंचाइजी चार्ज रहेगी वो उनको दे देगा बस ठीक है तो वो ब्रांचेस होते हैं जैसे एचपी का देखिए एचपी का सेंटर है अभी हमने एचपी का एक ऑथोराइज सेंटर लिया यहाँ तो वो क्या होगा उसका ऑनर मैं हूँ हमने केवल एच से कॉन्टेक्ट ले रखा है हमारा डोमिन सब वही रहेगा एचपी लेकिन उसका ऑनर मैं हूँ उसका एक्सपेंसेस मेरा है इनकम मेरा है हमें कुछ उसके में चार्ज देना पड़ेगा तो ये हमारा ब्रांच होता है ठीक है तो इसी प्रकार यहाँ पे है तो ये जो है एडीसी ब्रांचेस के लिए हो गया यहाँ आर भी ब्रांचेस के लिए हो गया सेम ऑनरशिप है क्योंकि जो यूजर आप यहाँ बना रहे हो वो यहाँ भी रेप्लीकेट होगा और यहाँ भी रेप्लीकेट होगा ठीक है दोनों में रेप्लीकेशन होगा बट अगर हमारे पास एक चाइल्ड डोमिन कंट्रोलर है इसको हम ऐसे क्यों बना रहे हैं क्योंकि ये फ्रेंचाइजी के लिए है तो यहाँ पे एक चाइल्ड डोमिन कंट्रोलर हमने बनाया और इसका अगर हम देखेंगे आईपी पहले मैं दिखा दू यहाँ पे ये देखिए ये जो है इसका रहेगा टेन डॉट जीरो डॉट जीरो डॉट थ्री हो सकता है और टेन डॉट जीरो डॉट जीरो डॉट वन राइट अब यहाँ डोमेन की बात करें ये रहेगा टेस्ट डॉट कॉम टेस्ट डॉट कॉम इसका डोमेन भी देखोगे तो आप क्या रहेगा टेस्ट डॉट कॉम इसका डोमेन क्या रहेगा टेस्ट डॉट कॉम क्योंकि हमने टेस्ट डॉट कॉम दिया सभी क्या वही रहेगा बट यहाँ क्या रहेगा 
place on root domain controller. If you transfer this role, now, if you transfer this role, like in schema master domain naming and other these three, to any domain controller, so that domain controller will become a root domain controller. Like suppose you are thinking, if you are thinking this uh, server is going down, or in uh, coming time in future, it can be failed. So in that case, what we do? We transfer these all role to additional domain controller. Means other domain controller in our domain environment. So once you transfer these all role, so the particular server will become a root domain controller. Okay. So by practically we'll see that. Then you will understand uh, the uh, the concept of FSMO. It's very important. Migration. Whenever we do any migration, so mm -hmm. this is the big role. Without uh, doing this, we cannot do. Okay, we have to first. This is the important one. Once you transfer this migration, easily can be done within a minute. So, how to transfer and what is the role of uh, each and every this uh, FSMO role? We'll be uh, understanding later. We'll be discussing about this. And now, if you talk about uh, child domain controller, so child, child domain controller has only three roles. It keep only three roles. Uh, so, what role? That is the uh, RID, PDC, and uh, infrastructure. These three roles place with child domain controller. And always, so therefore, we say this FSMO role divided into two parts: forest level role and domain level role. So, these two roles. Schema master and domain naming master always will placed with forest means root domain controller. Okay, so this is the identification how to identify this uh, FSM uh, root DC and ADC and child DC. And if we have a server, let me show you. Yesterday, I think we created this one. Huh? So, let me show how to check the FSM role. Till rebooting, we can rejoin once, okay, because I think it's going to work. So, I am just ending the session. Please rejoin quickly. So, yesterday we have installed the Active Directory in this site and it was a root domain controller. How I can say? You can see here. I will show you. If I will give dsa.msc Active Directory users and computers, we will not understand, we will not understand which is the role. Here you can see domain controller. Uh, this is global catalog. Global catalog is there. So, global catalog can be installed in additional domain controller. Global catalog can be installed in child domain controller also. So, we cannot identify. How to identify? Just you have to go to the command line cmd and you have to hit the command net dom query fsmo. This command you just give. You can see here. Schema master, domain naming master, pdc, rid, infrastructure master. Right? These five roles you can see now. And uh, this file role belongs to which server? How will I identify? Here you can see. Test server. Means this role is there with test server machine. And which is test server? The, this computer only you can see. I will open the my computer property. Oh no, no, no. Where is my property? Here. You can see here. Uh, the computer name is, you can see, test server dot test.com you can see. Uh, direct you can check. If you want to check the computer name, how can you check? By giving command host name. Host name. You can see. Our computer name is test server. So these are all available with this server. Test server. Koi doubt hai aapko? Ki ye saras, ye jo sabhi role hai kis server ke paas mein hai. Hai na? To yehi identify karta hai ki yehi hamara root DC hai. अगर हमारा चाइल्ड डीसी रहेगा तो क्या रहेगा उस केस में ये दोनों रोल इसी के पास रहेगा और ये तीनों रोल चाइल्ड डोमेन कंट्रोलर के पास में रहेगा यहां पे उसका नाम चेंज रहेगा तो ये डाउट ये डाउट कब क्लियर होगा व्हेन यू कंप्लीट दीस आर रोल दीस आर डोमेन कंट्रोलर नाउ यू बी कंफ्यूज आई थिंक डोंट वरी अबाउट वंस वी विल फिनिश दिस ना एट लीस्ट रूट डीसी एडीसी एंड आरओडीसी then you will get about this. You will understand this scenario. Okay. So okay. today, but uh, I am not going to show you practical anything. Okay. Because I have some other task today. Today we will uh, finish this session as soon as possible. So in this, if you have doubt any, today our, what was our topic? Introduction. Traditional. No, not additional domain controller, sir. Today, domain controller. Today just introduction about domain controllers. Uh -huh. Types of domain controller. Just introduction we are doing, 
and uh, next class onwards we will be doing practical by one by one this and once we do practical then you will understand this and this is the important one always this is important like you are uh, working in UK somebody is there in US somebody is there in Pakistan somebody is there in India somebody is there in Dubai right so how can we manage like multinational company organization domain servers can say manage the repo so we could carry this game for that so we will understand about this structure <coughs> okay any doubt in this theoretical part what I told this FSMO role is the more responsible to do all the activity in domain domain environment so we will learn each and every role one by one okay so first what is our agenda will be the next lab part will be doing we will do additional we will configure and install additional domain controller and we will check we will check how is the replicating users group we will create mm -hmm. the area that will be replicated and we will check the FSMO role what roles having with this uh, OTC, what role have with this additional domain control. Then next lab, so first lab will be our ADC and replication. And mm -hmm. Second role will be doing RODC, RODC, okay. And then third lab will be doing child domain. Child domain controller is not much more important, but we'll show, we'll see that. And then after what we'll do, we'll transfer this role. So this is what once you do, once we finish these all stuff, then you will understand concept of domain controller. Okay, now yeah. today what topic we did uh, domain controller is uh, fully confusion for you, for beginners. Once you complete this lab practical, then you will understand, you will get idea about domain controller and how, how it is working in organization. Okay, what is the mm -hmm. role of these rewards, what is the role of DNS, what is the role of global catalog. Now global catalog, if you talk about global catalog is optional to install in additional domain controller or uh, remotely domain controller or child domain controller but uh, global catalog you cannot uncheck that by default will install with the root domain controller. So what is global catalog? Global catalog is a search engine for our organization. If any user have any query, like one user is sitting here in the, here in this machine here suppose and I am the user, I am searching here Salman Khan image. So just I will search the Salman Khan image. So the query goes to local server and the, it will not resolve, then it will be forwarded to other server, then it will go to Google server. So like that mm -hmm. we are working this, okay. So these all query will be done by global catalog, it is a search engine. So these stuff will be doing. So please let me know if you have any doubt, otherwise we will do lab tomorrow. What is time? Can I show one lab? No, is a. Uh, I think it's uh, tomorrow. You can show the lab. Ha, so, can you mind? Naya mind, naya ho raha hai, so we do tomorrow. Okay. No. So, sir, uh, if uh, the shantos, the other person, he have a problem uh, with the English, so you can stay with uh, Hindi. Uh, is no problem because you uh, explain one time in English and one time in Urdu so is more uh, your energy and most of time you spend. So you have no problem. You can understand. Yes, yes, Hindi. Yeah, I can understand. Yes, I have no problem. ठीक है तो टुडे के लिए बस इतना ही